So here we are at our second digital edition of Cybos. I wish we could all see each other again, especially because it's been difficult times and a couple of years now since we last came together. But for now, obviously, digital is still the safest way we can bring the event to you. And I am optimistic that we'll be back together again soon. Clearly, we've all gone digital in a big way in our daily lives. Of course, working from home, but also with habits such as Netflix, Deliveroo, Uber Eats, and catch-ups with family on Zoom that have become the norm. And we've also seen accelerated change in the business environment too. As Noel Quinn mentioned, the financial services industry is definitely not an exception. It has actually really impressed me how the industry as a whole has not only maintained business as usual, but has also got great momentum on its own transformation. The industry has been on a massive digital journey. And if anything, with a much bigger sense of purpose and responsibility. Because a lot of this innovation is about the efficiency and transparency of financial services. And it is also about inclusivity in reaching the unbanked, climate and sustainability, and of course, diversity and inclusion. I truly believe that this attention across our industry, and of course SWIFT included, will help us to perform and serve customers better and in a more sustainable way in the long term. The classic industry narrative of a big part of the last decade was always polarized into a kind of a hero versus villain conversation about, on the one hand, incumbents having to overcome the constraints of legacy systems, and on the other hand, fintechs leveraging new technologies to power fully digital services. But now, incumbent players across payments and securities have stepped up to the plate with new services that are game-changing, with much greater customer experience and increased speed and transparency. A good example in the payment space is GPI, as Yawar just mentioned, where SWIFT has transformed the international payments experience. Almost half of all SWIFT payments today are credited within five minutes, and not just to the receiving bank, by the way, but to the end beneficiaries and about two-thirds within 30 minutes. The reality of this transformation is pretty telling. And as we look ahead, it is really encouraging to see the industry as a whole taking ownership of the next stages of the journey collectively to tackle the remaining challenges on speed, cost, transparency and inclusivity. And that includes central banks' involvement in the FSB CPMI three-stage process, now tackling important areas such as the interlinking of domestic payment systems as well as innovations such as stable coins or CBDCs. Which is, by the way, exactly what SWIFT is also looking at in our own CBDCs experiments. And what is reassuring is that together with commercial banks, market infrastructures and central banks, we are innovating whilst maintaining the strong guardrails around compliance, cyber, data security and liquidity management. And that's where SWIFT's responsible innovation comes in. Let me tell you what we're up to because we've been delivering at pace. This time last year, I talked about our plans to move beyond our traditional high-value segments to enable fast and competitive SME and consumer payments over SWIFT. Well, a couple of months ago, we've made that happen with SWIFT Go, which is a real game changer to help the banks become even more competitive by offering their customers more appealing services. This means fast, transparent, and cost-effective international payments and remittances with a simple click from banks' own customer channels that forward-looking and agile institutions are able to implement today. So whether you're moving money to family in your home country, or you're traveling, post-pandemic of course, for a hot dog in New York, a croissant in Paris, or you've made a small business payment in Nairobi, SWIFT may well be powering your bank to offer you a fast and cheap international payment experience through the app on your phone. And one of the other frictions that we've tackled across the board is the challenge of not having the right account data. So we've also introduced new services to make sure that all the data is correctly pre-validated at the point of creation. We've brought this to market very fast in response to the industry's needs. And this is just the beginning. We are full speed ahead on our platform transformation to deliver instant and frictionless transactions account to account anywhere in the world. And this is not only upgrading the rails for the interbank part of the journey. It is also about leveraging the bank's entry points into domestic systems to interlink market infrastructures worldwide. Because that's the way we will achieve a true end-to-end -end vision with the potential of seamlessly connecting up to 4 billion accounts around the world. And this, while of course also continuing to support the risk and control fundamentals through responsible innovation. Next year, 
we introduce a major deliverable in our journey with our new API-driven transaction manager that lies at the heart of our vision. And once the transaction manager is in full force, when we promise instant, we will really deliver instant. Also embedding into the process data services such as sanction screening, anomaly detection, data analytics, tracking, and exception management. Underlying all of this, ISO 2022 Rich Data is the foundation. The transaction manager will be available for those who have migrated to ISO 2022, but we're also making sure nobody gets left behind by introducing inflow translation, which is, by the way, ahead of schedule and already available for testing as of November this year. This gives our customers ample time for testing, and it also means that everyone can migrate to ISO 2022 at their own pace and take advantage, therefore, of the transaction manager after that. And it is also worth mentioning that the transaction manager will be currency agnostic, so that if CBDCs or stable coins are adopted by the industry, we can adapt, facilitating interoperability between token-based and account-based networks. And down the line, by creating the platform of platforms, strategic partners who are innovating in different segments can plug in to introduce new forms of value across the ecosystem. While this back-end transformation of our industry may not be immediately visible, the difference between those who get it right and those who don't can have consequences. Appealing front-end apps may only tell half of the story when it comes to resilience, reliability, consumer protection, and full compliance. As far as we're concerned at Swift, we deliver faster than ever, but we don't take shortcuts because we are not about short-term gain or profit. And you all know, operational excellence is in our DNA. It is precisely because we are industry-owned with global scale that we can innovate and create the next generation foundations responsibly. And that is differentiating us as a cooperative. We're going to power an even more inclusive global economy that works faster, smarter and better for businesses of all sizes and the people and economies they serve. From next year, the landscape will be very different and today's problems will be becoming a thing of the past. Right now, I know we're asking a lot from you. Adopting APIs and new services and upgrading your back office infrastructures to new standards. But this is not just a tick the box exercise. This is a join up vision with many different components, and the whole is going to be greater than the sum of its parts. But we cannot do this alone. We count on you to adopt these innovations, and we're here to support you every step of the way. We're transforming the foundations for the whole industry for decades to come. And speaking personally, even with all the constraints of leading through the pandemic, it is really motivating to work on building that future together. Because this is much more than a vision. It is becoming the new reality. Thank you, and I wish you all a great Cybus.